What's going on guys and welcome back to the web of cogs and oil and last video you guys know we hopped into this game and we defeated the machine aka scrap baby and also this fellow right here and man these two were absolutely intense and really scary but we were able to do it and now we're on the final level the demon and uh this guy right here is ooh, he is intense you got to keep all the candles lit and stop him from getting to you and while also keeping the the thing on the left lit i can't say the name of it still because youtube but yeah uh it, it's it's a very intense level and i'm excited to get into this and hopefully we get some kind of ending after completing all four of these levels because there's like these little stars up here so i'm hoping that maybe something will happen but We'll see at the end of this video. But of course, if you guys want to see more of this game, if there is anything after this, be sure to leave a like on the video. I'm not going to set a like goal, but I, I imagine if you guys like this video, uh, however many you guys end up liking this video, then I guess that's how many likes we'll get. <laughs> so, all right, I guess however many of you guys like this game, that's how many likes we'll get. So, if 10,000 of you guys like this video, then uh, that means I guess 10,000 of you guys really like this game. We'll see what happens. But let's go ahead and get back into the game here and hop into the first level. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to the channel, you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button um, because, yeah, we've been, we've been growing a lot recently and we're so close to 2 million subscribers, so if you're watching this and you're new, and you guys want to help me reach that goal, and only if you guys enjoy what you see here, that is, be sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so you have three things to tend to. On your right are three candles. You must keep them all lit to keep the guy at bay. On your left is one candle. You must keep this lit, or else the servant will come and blow out the, that guy's candles. On your far left is a thingy <laughs> that will progressively glow brighter. Make sure to keep that, or make sure that you keep it in the dark. All right, let's go. Here we go. So basically... On the right, three candles. Actually, I'm just going to keep all the candles lit as, as much as I can. And we're just going to hold our mouse over this thing on the left, which you guys can't see, but you'll see in a second. There's going to be a giant glowing thing on the left right there on the wall. And I just have to make sure I hold my mouse over that to make sure it stays lit. And that's it. I mean, we should be okay as long as I can do that. But we'll see what happens. Which, by the way, we're literally in a basement. Look how creepy this is. There's, like, grass up there in the window and stuff like that. Not only that, but we got Balloon Boy in here with us. Like, this is just a creepy place to be. All right, we got to make sure that these right... As long as these don't go out, we should be okay. Because this guy is... This this guy in the painting over there is what will completely destroy us. We got to be very careful with him. Okay, keep these up. All right, now it's starting off easy, but we got to be careful here. Which, by the way, guys, look at the fishing rod in the box right there. I'm sure you guys have seen that by now. <laughs> I probably have so many comments that are like, Dude, look, we, we know whose level this is. There's a giant fishing rod sticking out of a box right there. And there's literally a picture of him on the... <laughs> on the little uh cork board right there okay like come on we know whose room this is all right we're gonna i'm still holding my mouse on that thing on the left we're doing okay though watch somebody like start coming down the stairs at the end that would be terrifying do it like pennywise just starts like coming down the staircase that's what this game reminds me of it reminds, it reminds me of um i think it was hero golem that made that that uh pennywise fan game that's what this game reminds me of like in total like i don't know if it's the graphics or what but something about it just reminds me of that all right, we're doing really good right now. I'm able to keep all these down. We're able to keep this guy in the painting. We're able to just get Balloon Boy out of here. I need, like, a fan or something to blow him away because he literally he looks like a little phantom. <laughs> I just imagine, like, one thing I always thought about with the phantom animatronics in FNAF 3, like, if you just had, like, a gust of wind, I feel like they would just blow away. I don't know why. <laughs> But I just feel like ghosts in general, like they're just, I feel like if you just blew them away, they're like, they're, they, they'd be so light and they would just like drift away or something like that. That's what I need right now, just to keep Balloon Boy away from us. Oh boy. Okay. I messed up big time. I messed up. All right. We're, we're staying distracted. We have a minute left though, right? We're doing okay. One minute left. He is just slowly coming out of that painting though. I have a problem. Okay. Please. 60 seconds. Okay. We need to make sure we keep this guy low though. Okay. Go, 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 go back, go back, go back. Okay. He's still not out yet. We should be okay. As long as I don't mess this up. Holy moly. Okay, that's dark again. Keep these up. Keep these up. 45 seconds. Come on. Oh, no, dude. It's lighting up a lot right now. It's Yeah, it's getting harder. It's getting harder. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Balloon boy, stop. Stop, please. Stay away. Stop doing that. Oh, my. No. Keep him lit. 30 seconds. Come on. We got this. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Okay, he still hasn't moved. He, he has a lot more stages to go through. I think we'll be okay. Come on, lower that. Go back, go back. Oh, how did you not move right there? I have no idea. No, 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 go down. Why is it not going down? There it goes. Okay, we're fine. 15 seconds. Yeah, we got this. 100%. As long as this thing doesn't get too bright on the left, we're fine. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, seven seconds. Oh, no, go. Keep it lit up. Five seconds, four seconds. No, go. Okay, we're, yeah, we 100% we got this. We won. We won. Yes. Okay, so that should be all of the mini games completed now, right? That's it. The Web of Cogs and Oil, thank you. Thanks for playing. And we have an extras menu on the bottom right. Oh, please tell me there's another mini game in here. I am hoping that there's another mini game. Please. We'll see what happens. I. All right, here we go. 
Let's click it. Oh, we got uh, no menu or no extra mini game, but it makes sense. I mean, the main game was so good. So we've got characters, environments, concept art, and behind the scenes. All right, well, let's check it out. So we have the trickster who we've seen right here. This was such a cool character. I absolutely love this one. And my alarm is going off. <laughs> currently 8 30 a.m if you guys are wondering when i'm recording this so we had this guy right here though we have this guy oh this was such a cool character look at him we got the body and everything like that so cool and then this guy the demon who man he is crazy looking um then we got the machine which was scrap baby really cool looking character i love how like the eyes are super red and like the roller skates over there like she's a really cool character i hope like there's so many characters that scott could like add into the games like from the books and stuff like that i really hope scrap baby is you know added into like a game full on like i know we've seen her and stuff like that but like i want her in a game coming after us and stuff like that and yeah just like all the characters from the book would be so good all right and then that's it okay so you can't go any further obviously that's all the characters that we went up went up against um where's the <laughs> the, the painting though on the wall on the left that should be a character on here all right then we got environments and obviously this was that one um where we had the flashlight that's this one Oh, this was this guy right here. This is a cool picture. So this is him like fully standing out of the painting. And then we've got Balloon Boy right there just standing there creepily. Oh, he looks like he looks so hollow and like, ugh, I don't know. He's, he's a creepy looking dude. And then there's Baby, obviously, whenever she comes to the door and stuff like that and comes to get us. Man, these are some cool environments, man. I, if I haven't said enough, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, then we got concept art. So this should be cool to see. The trickster. And these are, this is the artist right here on the bottom right. And obviously, you know, that's his face before. And then whenever he jump scares, his mouth opens up like that. And then there he is again with the mouth all open wide and the, the wide stance. He's looking wide right here. <laughs> then we have this guy, the painting. Um, obviously him coming out of it. And then we got the rejected logo design. That's actually a cool logo. Wait, what logo did they end up going with? I didn't notice a logo, did they? Did they? Okay, this takes a long time to go out. No, yeah, there's no logo. I wonder why. I mean, I guess it's like a simple one. But yeah, it would have been cool to have a logo like that. But I guess it's cool to just keep it, you know, kind of basic too. But yeah, that's a cool looking looking logo. I like that. Um, then we've got, oh wow, this looks, wow, the art style in this for some reason looks better. Like the graphics, they look different. Maybe it's just because the lighting and stuff like that is different. But yeah, that is obviously, wait a minute. Look at this picture. You see in the window, it's probably going to be way too dark for you guys. But Scrap Baby is out there. What? Why is Scrap Baby outside the window? Is she that, wait, is she there on the main level? What if that's like a reflection of us? Can you imagine like we're playing as Scrap Baby? I don't know. But that is interesting. Yeah, she's just out there watching. Oh, what the? Look at this one. Oh, man. Like this, seeing this, I want to see like the full level that they designed for this. Like it would have been cool to like actually be able to go from room to room and have her keep chasing after you. And like you can lock the door behind you, but there's always like a window. And she's like always watching you through it. But still, oh, that's the final piece of concept art that they have here. This one is so cool though, but why is there like a dress on the wall right there? And look, look at behind her. That's, I can't say what that is, but there's things behind her that other things go inside of whenever they don't breathe anymore. <laughs> things that don't breathe anymore go inside of those things. And one of them is cracked open and there's some stuff on the ground that, uh, ooh, wow, that's interesting. And then above it, there's like a dress or something. I don't know, that's what it looks like at least. That is interesting. It's like something came out of that, and I don't know. Wow, that's that's very interesting. Yeah, these are awesome to see. I love whenever games put extras menu. It's so cool to see. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so then we have behind the scenes. So this is like them working on it. Abandoned room. This is obviously be where the trickster would come from. The freezer work in progress. Then we've got the basement work in progress. Oh, wow. Okay, and then we've got horrifying glitch. Oh my, that is crazy. Okay, so I don't know if it's gonna be bright enough for you guys, but like, okay, you see how the trickster, that's the top of his head, right? Below that is the rest of him and his mouth is just wide open and he's just looking at you. That is creepy. Oh, that gives me like the, the heebie-jeebies. I don't even know what you call that, but that is, ugh, that is really creepy. And then, of course, this one. What the? Oh, horrifying glitch number two. There's two of him. That's awesome. And then that's it. And then, yeah, now Scrap Baby isn't in the window. I wonder why. I guess just because. No, wait. Is it in environments? No, it's in concept art. So I guess that makes sense. Maybe, like, originally this was, like, a teaser. And they were teasing Scrap Baby by, like, having her outside the window right here. Actually, I want to test something real quick. I just want to see if we go on that map, if she's actually outside the window. Because you, you imagine we played that entire map and she was just out there the entire time. I want to see this. Hold on. Let me see. No, yeah, she's not out there. We would have seen her, right? Yeah. No, she's not out here at all. I I, I don't think so. At least. Yeah, no, I can. No, 
Yeah, we would see her. Maybe that would be like a cool little Easter egg, though. Like, she'll show up randomly at the window. But yeah, no, there's no one there. All right, well, guys, I guess that was the web of cogs and oil. Overall, like I said, I absolutely love this game. I really, really hope that they do another one. Um, the web of cogs and oil 2. Or, you know, they, maybe they come up with some other name where it's like, I don't know, the... <laughs> The Cogs of Web and Oil or something. <laughs> that would be like the second one's name. But I really do hope they do another one of these. And I hope other fan games like that or other fan game devs, if they are watching this, that, you know, they make games like this too because they're, they're so enjoyable. Like a, a fan game that doesn't focus on the jump scares, I love because it's, it's, it's more about the gameplay. It's more about, you know, the characters and stuff like that than just... Oh, we can throw a jump scare at you and it's terrifying. That's the whole point of the game. No, like, this is good. Like, this is, like, short little mini games with cool characters, cool environments, and cool design and stuff like that. And, yeah, I want more fan games like this um, because there's just so much opportunity. Like, every little character has, like, their own unique level. It's so awesome. Like, we played that game, um, The Elevator, the FNAF Elevator. If you guys haven't had the chance to check out that video, you definitely want to do so. It's, like, it has, like, twist hammer trunks in it and stuff like that. But, like, you would go, you're on an elevator, and every time the floor opens, it's a different character and a different map. And that was so cool. Like, I love games like this. So, yeah, I really do want to see more from these guys for sure. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever they make next. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead this video here. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we're really close to 2 million subscribers, so be sure to hit that. And if, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, leave a like on the video. And um, if they do end up making another game, obviously I'll play it if you guys want to see it. And, yeah, I guess if, if this video gets, like, a ton of views or a ton of support, maybe that will, like, they'll be like, okay, yeah, maybe we should make another one. And, of course, check out the game. I'll have it in the description. Click over there, check out the Game Jolt page, give it a follow, and download the game for yourself. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.